What's going on everybody? This is Sanak here, welcoming you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we got here to Kakariko Village, and we see that it is covered in Twilight, and, you know, we got that similar Tears of Light quest that we gotta continue with, um, in order to restore this place back to balance. Um, but before we go ahead and continue, make sure you guys do like the video if you enjoy what you're watching, and subscribe with the post notifications on if you guys want to be part of the Sanox Squad today. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I want to make sure we listen in to this because I want to start with this building. Uh, cripes. How the heck am I supposed to be babysitting someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? So I want to make a quick stop here, obviously, because I think this is where a lot of tiers are up in here. So, hey, you can climb up here. So use the Midna jump. Very nice. And we go down. So, a bunch of spirits in here, so. Cripes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've gotta be hiding somewhere waiting for the their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? Wonder if those monsters out here agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold out the sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over! Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and the whole gang from the town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, we'll be... Bards. <laughs> uh, Granado, I mean to say is that it's risky here too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. What? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beast outside. Hey, don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. Huh? Hmm. I, I I can feel it. Who knew those kids can you those kids knew you would come to save them? What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. You are chosen by the gods and only keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, a dark monster, when you enter twilight. And no one knows that you what you have done. Ah, uh, you've been doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything. I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She choose she chose this state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with all the light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you gonna do now, my lonely little hero? Okay, so, this is obviously where all the kids and everyone ended up. So, it's cool to see that they're doing okay here. So, we're gonna just go ahead and listen to what they had said as light up the candles here to access the cellar because, as you can see by Renato's daughter, um, or heard from her, her that there are insects in the cellar, so might as well go get them over here. Mighty convenient, wouldn't you say? Okay, so 
not really too difficult. Literally, they're just all right here. Just gonna try to one fell swoop. Uh, miss one, but whatever. So that's three of them down already. Not too bad. Um, the other ones I think are gonna be a little more annoying because of the fact that this one kind of separated them. So um, it's gonna be kind of annoying finding them. Huh? How about that? Okay. Looks like you climb, you can climb the scaffolding here. Aww. So, how convenient this is going to be the way we can get out because we fell through the ceiling the other side, so. Um, oh, this is a graveyard, so. Um, the good thing is we can just like literally leave this area because we don't have to do anything here yet, uh, but we'll, we will have to visit this place in the future. But as of right now, there aren't any tiers located here, so don't even bother. Don't even bother. Um, but yeah, happy 35th anniversary to Zelda, by the way. Hope you guys are uh, enjoyed the fact that Skyward Sword got an HD remake, so very, very excited for that. Um, hope you all are too, because honestly, I have not played Skyward Sword. I have it for the Wii, but I just never hooked up the Wii. <laughs> So it's cool to see that it's actually going to be getting on here on the Switch. So just thought I'd mention that as we're going along here because this is where another uh, insect is located. Right in the middle there. Um, I also went looking around in this place. Um, I was going to explore it, but to be honest, the bug is... This is the only bug here. And... Um, the only thing that would be over there are rupees. It's just a small chest for, with 20, and then if you knock over some shelves, you'll get like 10 or 15. So not too worth it. So I'm just going to grab the insect and run, because this is going to be the next destination I wanted to stop by here, because there's another bug located on the map, as you can see. Oh, I always forget to do that. Um, when the dog, and when the wolf form, you press A to let go and stuff. I don't know why I keep pressing A to like climb back up. I think I'm playing uh, too many shooters that let me clamber. So <laughs> uh, that's throwing me off a little bit. So jump properly this time and to the next one. Cool. So what did you all think about the... What, are the, what were all y'all's hopes for the Zelda series for the 35th anniversary? Because I would have loved to have seen more, to be honest, besides just the Skyward Sword remake. So, hoping that there's a little more, but uh, right now I'm excited to get to play Skyward Sword for the Switch. Especially with the updated controls and everything too, because I think the motion controls were kind of turned me off to the game in the first place. Um, when games just force you to do motion controls only, but um, with the integrated like actual controls that you can use with the control stick. I'm actually really looking forward to that. So we got the other building right here. We got to crash through this window. So this is the bomb shop, I believe. Uh, let me see. Can't see. Yeah, if you can see right there through the stairs, those, those are the bombs. So pretty cool. So we're in the bomb shop. Um, oh, it's right here. Okay, pretty cool. We're making quick work of this. I I thought like honestly when I was play testing this, I thought this was gonna take a lot longer to get to the point at where we were, but <laughs> I'm glad it's not taking too long because I can see how these things can be very tedious. And we just lead up to this building right here. So I personally think that's a good path to take, so that way you can kind of go through one stationary, I guess, path, and then collect all the bugs, so. Um, it seems like we got a light up here, so, but. Uh, I mean, I can't read because I'm a wolf, but I guess, whatever, let's just light it up. <laughs> huh, well, what did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not gonna stay here with you, I'm getting out. No, my dinner date. Um, you want to be careful because if you don't leave this place, they do kind of explode. Because this is another uh, flammable building, unfortunately. So. Don't know why they would have a fireplace. Well, 
you know, logic at its finest. So cool, we already got three from that. So we are making quick work of these tiers. Hmm, I don't suppose that there's any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find the tears of light. Uh, but that's how the cookie crumbles, right? Oh well. Um, I'm also kind of glad that these things heal you, so... Let's go ahead and... and if, just in case if y'all were wondering if you guys, you guys can dig here. Uh, I think it gives you three hearts. Yeah, it gives you three hearts. Uh, go away. Take care of it real quick, because if not, it will follow us <laughs> until the next place. So, I was kind of hoping that you would have to climb up higher and higher through here, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to jump down and go this way for the remaining insects. So, cool to know that we only need three now. So, very, very nice. Alrighty, so I believe this is Death Mountain already. Could be wrong. Huh, looks like the path is imp the path is impassable, but I can get you up there if you want to go. I mean, you're gonna kind of have to. Oh, oh, I pushed it too early. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just jump up through here, and we got another spirit here of a Goron. Ugh, why do I have to stand guard? The ladder is destroyed. It's not like any human will come up. But what's with the elders? If we have a problem with humans, with if we have a problem with the the humans can help with, we should ask. It's better not to suffer for the sake of pride. I mean, you right, you right. Literally dropping facts there. So, um, and really nothing else to do. It's just honestly just climb the mountain. <laughs> um. Get rid of those because obviously they'll I mean I think they'll follow us the whole way through and just be annoying. But I don't know about you guys, I love this iteration of the uh, Death Mountain in the game because it honestly just feels really huge and you're actually climbing a huge mountain. <laughs> um compare I mean the other games did it too, but anyway I'm gonna shut up now because we have a new mechanic here that I wanna explain. Okay, so the idea of this is that since there are no musical instruments in the game, this is kind of one of those things that replaced it, so that way that there's some music. However, it's not in the similar vein of like Ocarina of Time, where you have to like play these things constantly. I'm going to go ahead and shut up so you all can enjoy this. Because, honestly, I love this reference so much. And it started off with my very favorite, my f absolute favorite one from the beginning. So, I'm going to go ahead and howl one more time. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Honestly, one of my favorite references of this game. Majora's Mask is my hands down favorite game of all time from the Zelda series. So <laughs> you can see that I really, really appreciate it. So. Um, this is how we're going to be learning new techniques and everything. Once you howl at these howl stones, the golden wolf will show up in older locations that we had visited. So as you can see, we need to go back to Orden Woods, which I think is the fountain where, um, you know, uh, that where Epona would get like bathed and stuff. So 
That's where we need to head off to learn that. So just gotta remember to do that when we're in the area. Um, we got one of the bugs running across here. I think it needs to be dug out. Okay, yeah, cool. I'll take care of it real quick. But yes, that is the Song of Healing from Majora's Mask. And honestly, when I first played this, um, I was blown away. <laughs> and I still am, to be honest, because they are going to be little throwbacks and stuff to older Zelda games once you keep finding them. So it's a nice little nod that the uh, creators of this game um, did for their other games. So absolutely love it. Okay, now we are in Death Mountain, so. Oh boy. Our favorite bunch of people, so. You know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these guys. Uh, this time there's actually four of them, so it can be a little um, tricky at first if you're not used to these things still. Um, but I wanna go ahead and just take care of one over there, and then just take this solo one over here. Because the other ones will leave you alone. They won't follow you in here, thankfully. Then just grab these guys over. Easy peasy. Glad I did it the first try. <laughs> so cool. There's another warp to Death Mountain, which is very nice. Um, they always drop hearts when you're done, so good to know if you took any damage. And we got another bug right here. Uh, this one's going to be a little annoying because it actually flies. Um, so you're going to have to wait before it's not actually... Uh, it's all staticky, so you can go ahead and attack it. So we literally just need one more. So I can't believe we're actually almost done with this. Uh, why do I have to stand guard at the end of the, at a dead end at the bottom of a cliff like this? Oh uh, wait a second, have they tucked me away out of out of the way because they think I'm useless? Ah, uh, poor dude. Uh, but yeah, as you can tell, death, uh, death mountain has all these like uh, little geysers or steam geyser things I um, want to take care of that thing first I think it's gonna block me off but yeah as you can, um, when you're doing these jumps and everything you do need to be careful oh and it erupts too so. <laughs> um, you do need to be careful because the steam will block you if you're jumping at the inappropriate time so just want to time it properly okay good I made it before <laughs> I literally almost jumped into that. Okay. Hot. Uh, another fumarole. And once again, it's the worst possible place. I suppose this path is impassable now. Um, I guess he means by that. Oh yeah, because if you try to go through that, it will automatically keep popping out, so you can't pass through it. But we're only here for the bugs right now, so we will be visiting back to the place later. And just like that, we are finished. <laughs> Very cool. So I thought that was going to take a lot longer. I'm actually happy that that didn't. <laughs> so. The vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to this area. Very, very cool. And now we can explore this place and all the other area of Hyrule that was covered as regular Link now, so. Ah, oh, I was starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. <laughs> See you later. Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. O great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. You must go to the sacred grounds and cleanse them. Ooh. 
legit, I think this one is the creepiest looking one. <laughs> I don't know, it's just the, the mask and the way that it just looks. But, pretty cool, that was Elden. Spoiled the moment there. <laughs> Link? Oh my god, the baby. <laughs> it's just a tiny man baby. My god, the way you walk. <laughs> See, Beth, I told you Link would save us. You are one of the Orden whom these children spoke of. We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... <laughs> is my daughter, Luda. You gotta love the company. Ah, those beasts took us and left us to die, but Renato found us. Ah, at first, I believe they had come so from a distant place as the or Ordana province. Yeah, I don't... We don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then... Until now, it's been like... A nightmare. God, I need to find a voice for that baby. <laughs> yeah, it's like a terrible dream, and we couldn't wake up. Hmm. Nightmares are... Our everywhere these days it seems this village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships the dark beasts attack but even worse was the sudden in inexplicable change in the mountain dwelling goron tribe they had long been our friends but suddenly treated us as foes even now they refuse to permit us entry into their minds it strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly it makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, m cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But, if my job is to coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart... Alrighty guys, and with all that, now that we got the Tears of Light and freed up Kakariko and the Elden Province with from the Twilight and everything, now we can go ahead and see what we can do to help out with Kakariko. But I want to go ahead and end the episode here because we are pushing a little bit longer now. But anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode when we go ahead and see what we can do to maybe even help out with the Gorons and further explore Kakariko and maybe even see if there's some side quest stuff we can do. But until then, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.